Hi, this is Vivian Mead with Progressive Pulse, and I had a chance to attend the closing night at the San Francisco International Film Festival for the screening of Gonzo, The Life and Works of Dr. Hunter S. Thompson. And in this documentary, Alex Gibney, the director, who also did Taxi to the Dark Side, focuses on Thompson's life from roughly about 1965 to 1975. Take a look at some of the comments I got from filmgoers as they left the film. I even found a brother and sister who have been following Thompson since they were 8 and 12. Take a look. Absolutely. Neil George. Neil, what did you think about it? It was excellent. It was a great, great, great documentary. Really, really good time. So, did you know about Hunter S. Thompson before? I did. I had the pleasure of meeting him a few times, actually, yeah. Having lunch with him and Warren Henkel uh, in San Francisco and seeing him in Aspen a couple times. What's your name? Meredith. 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 So, what did you think of the movie? I thought it was great. Really interesting. Very well done. So many great clips. Yeah. Now, did you know a lot about Hunter S. Thompson? I, didn't. I really didn't, and I had only seen a few little pieces of uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Johnny Depp, and uh, it brought it all together. And uh, he's a, I want to read the book. What did you think of the movie? Absolutely fantastic and very relevant in today's political scene. I loved him, Dr. Gonzo. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. Tell me a little bit about the movie. Uh, it was terrific. Yeah. It was Hunter S. Thompson, and uh, all of his glory it was almost like having him back. Yeah, so did, did you know Hunter S. Thompson? I saw him a couple of times. I might have shaken his hand, but that was about it. Yeah. So, so you being the political commentary that you are and him have been doing that at that time, I mean, I mean did you feel some kind of camaraderie with him? Oh, uh, he's a hero. I mean, it's I it's a pantheon, and then there's me on the little ladder here, you know, wave. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, so they say something in there that uh, he's gone. His his ex-wife says about we really could have used him now, mm -hmm. especially during these times, and that's right. so that's so true. Uh, Brian Churchman. Yeah. Kenneth Cutter. Okay, so what'd you think? Uh, big Hunter S. Thompson fan for years. Uh, the beginning started out a little bit weird, but then it, it, it jumped right in. Weird for Hunter S. Thompson isn't weird apropos. <laughs> yes, I, I think he nailed it down. It never got weird enough for him, and I, I think the movie nailed it down. It was fantastic. We were we were pretty blown away. So yeah, it especially covered like some of the the years where he was involved with Nixon and McGovern, and and everybody was happy about that. It nailed his politics <laughs> down, which nobody ever does. So good point. What good for the director? What do you think? I had no idea what was going on the whole time, but the acid kicked in about the middle of it, and it's goddamn, it's beautiful. My name is Lauren. And Lauren, what did you think of the movie? What did I think of the movie? Well, to preface it, I've been wanting to go to this for a while. I thought it wasn't going to happen. I drove my butt out here from the East Bay, wanting a ticket so badly from Berkeley. Came in, was one of the last people to buy a ticket, just came in by myself, took a tote. Can I say that? Yeah. Did a little you-know-what for the you-know-who and held it down and learned so much about so much that I have always wanted to see and hear and just seeing him as a young man too and just feeling the, 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 the paradox of where I am in my life and what I hold dear and what I feel and my sentiments and my history and my way of writing and seeing that exactly mirrored and having just come back from Vietnam, like seeing that, he is just such a strong, like she said at the end, that really wanted to galvanize the youth and like get people asking questions and stirring it up and like being, what did, what did they say something about something of mischief or like, like naughty behavior, like that's my thing and I just love him so much for being that. That courageous person and you're an embodiment of what he professes, Ooh, right? Thank you. <laughs> We've been Hunter S. Thompson fans since I was twelve. He was what, eight? Yeah, so wow. uh, we're from Colorado, Boulder, Colorado. We live in San Francisco now. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Eastern Colorado. <laughs> nice. Right. Um, so uh, Hunter's been a major influence for us in our art. We're film like filmmakers and uh, visual artists. And um, I thought the film um, pieced together uh, just a great history of Hunter S. Thompson in terms of all the media that they brought into it, mixed it together, and, and um, the film was showing the canon at the end of it at his funeral. Um, I saw a film that had that uh, debuted at the Bill Film Fest, and um, they just, I don't know, it was, it was really well done. Very tasteful, I thought. It's always emotional to watch. I'm always bummed that I didn't get to meet him in person, so. I was curious, we have matching tattoos. I was wondering if we could show them. Absolutely. Out. Let's okay. see. Let's check them out. Okay. Uh, Hold on, Trent. Because right. his brother and sister, I love it. Brother love and it. sister. <laughs> so there you go. Can, wow, Gonzo, can you like zoom in on there? Get closer. 